Hey everyone, MTAS here, and I want to talk about Rumble, playing fast, and why shotguns are so damn good for Rumble. Probably more than any playlist in the game. And I don't like shotguns, I don't find them that fun to use, but after playing extensively, I've played so much Rumble, it's not even funny in these past couple weeks, I I've realized that if you're not using a shotgun, you're kind of screwing yourself in this playlist. Now, in games like Control, in games like Skirmish, snipers do very well. Honestly, if you don't have a couple snipers on your team, you might actually be hurting your control team. Because you don't have any long-range support. You don't have any way to hold down an area from a distance. But in a game like Rumble, where you're by yourself, you have a bunch of panic situations where people are pushing in, people are using their supers, people are last-wording you from an inch away, and you need something up close and personal to deal with it in a lot of these situations. If I snipe and rumble, I can win, yes, but for the most part, I'm at a disadvantage when I do it. And this is coming from me, the guy that snipes 99% of his games, or, well, used to. Sniping is great, it's fantastic, it's fun, I love it, but unfortunately in a game mode like rumble, it's a little bit too slow. When you snipe, typically it slows down your gameplay because you want to pick off those targets at a distance. You want to play it safe, you want to keep people away from you, your stats might be higher, you might have a better kill-death ratio, but you're not forcing engagements the way you do when you have a shotgun or your primary out. If you're not pushing in aggressively, you're wasting time that you could be in engagements, and whether you trade or you win or you lose doesn't really matter because Rumble is all about score per minute, score per second, whatever you want to call it, it's how quickly are you obtaining points in this playlist. If you're at the back of the map sniping a doorway hoping people will come into it, then you might run into games where, yeah, you get a lot of traffic, you get a shitload of kills, and you fucking dominate. 5.0 kill death, boom baby, you won it. But you might also run into situations where for whatever reason, the map doesn't flow that way. No one is pushing into your lanes and you're literally sitting there doing nothing. This becomes a massive issue because there are going to be people that maybe don't have the most gun skill and they run in and they trade kills over and over and over again. And they're going to win the game because of it. They're going to have 22 kills and 26 deaths and they will beat you. And it sounds fucked up. It's like, nah, wait. But it's true because these guys, whether they're winning all their trades or not, they're putting a score up on the board. And if you're sitting in the back sniping or you're sitting in the back waiting for people to come through a doorway with your fusion rifle or whatever it might be, you are going to struggle to win. I was playing a bunch of Rumble yesterday and I was sniping for a bit and I'd win every one in three, one in four, one in five rounds. I get some seconds, get some thirds, but when I put on a shotgun last night for my last ten games, or maybe it was nine games, I won every single one. Some of them were better than others where I had a better kill death. Some of them I had like a 1.1, but I still was winning way more games once I equipped the shotgun. And this isn't to say shotguns are broken, it's just with this playlist, it's very aggressive. You have people all up in your grill, and having that close range one bang is a godsend. Honestly, it's such a savior, it allows you to win a lot of engagements where you normally wouldn't. Whether it's a, a storm caller coming through a door, or a blade dancer, or whatever it might be, there's going to be situations that if you didn't have that shotgun, you would never have come out on top. Now... Am I a big advocate for shotguns, period, and spamming in them? No, I don't think so. I think if you always are sliding around with a shotgun, it's going to take away from your primary gun skill, but having it as a backup is huge in a game mode like Rumble. I think I've kind of covered it. Shotguns are really fucking good in Rumble. We get it, Mtash. But I just, I guess I wanted to make the video because I know there's probably people like me that get frustrated when you feel like you're playing amazing, you're landing all these crazy snipes, and you're still losing. I wanted to give you a bit of an explanation as to why. There are hyper-aggressive people in Rumble that will suicide and they will beat you, and you just have to eat it. You gotta eat that bullet, you have to die a few more times to get your score per second up, and you're gonna win more games, guys. Don't worry about your stats, worry about your win. This is one of the playlists where you gotta go ham. Alright, see you later, my friends. Bye bye